welcome Capricorn to your weekly reading. This is going to be a reading for April 9th through the 15th. Thank you guys for coming back to watch your reading. I'm going to jump right in with you. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. Let's give the names you guys. Please give me the cards for Capricorn. April 9th through the 15th. I'm going to pull three cards for you, Capricorn, and three cards for your person, whoever you are with, your lover, your friend, whoever you're dealing with, okay? I'm going to pull three cards for them. First card is for you. Spirit and Angel Guys, one card for Capricorn first. One more time. right now you guys got the you got the devil card here okay let me put a card for your person here what's going on here Capricorn um, what is going on here your person got the ten of Pentacles okay I'm pulling another card for you before I speak. I want to know what this dev card is. I mean, what this devil card is about, okay? You part of, oh my goodness, one more. I'm going to pull some more cards for your person before I show you guys. I'll show you everything, okay? All right, Capricorn, you have the Queen of Cups here, okay? And then you have the Seven of of wands and you got the death card of, look you guys are you giving yourself to something to a situation that you really should be standing up against that's what I'm feeling this week there is some need to be released uh, from some situation this may be mentally uh, releasing yourself as well okay I feel like you guys are uh, with the Queen of Cups. I said a Queen of Water, the Queen of Cups here. You may have been giving a little bit too much of yourself, Capricorn, okay? Um, and I'm saying this because this Death card, you don't have to be here. The devil is like uh, unfound fear. You can basically take the chains off, okay, and walk away from the situation. You don't have to keep giving yourself over to some situation i feel like um what's going on with your partner here they don't have the same energy i feel like they're cool calm and collective they have they're trying to get their money together okay they got the chariot card they're moving along in their life you know moving things out of their way that they that that doesn't help them with the queen of swords here okay but i feel like there is no notice of what you're doing here they may be Look at this with the Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords. I feel like they may not even take notice of what you're going through, okay? They may have you caught up in something. Your emotions as well. I'm actually going to pull one more card from another deck for both of you, okay? Let's see what's going on. may be taking on a lot of stress in the home here Capricorn that's what I'm feeling you're having issues arguments or arguing your case standing your ground just standing up for yourself some of you guys are giving over your heart too much and I feel like you may be getting taken advantage of. You're noticing this or this is being brought to the forefront this week for you Capricorn, okay? Yeah, this is a situation you guys definitely need to heal over. You have the star card here. I feel like the angels want you to bring balance back into your life. You understand, okay? Bring peace back into your life. Bring harmony back into your um, life. Um, and try to balance your emotions and release yourself um, from, from things that you feel trapped in, okay? Even if it's just mentally, this is something that you need to heal over at this time um for this week okay this is what you guys yeah this is some relationship you're dealing with the two of cups 
just flew out here. I'm going to take one more uh, card for your person here, okay? The Knight of Pentacles. All I keep seeing is a success around your person here. Like, they are moving on. They're not stuck at all. Uh, there is nothing happening with them, okay? They're totally into them, you know. I feel like they're moving complications out of their life, okay? Obstacles in their path. They're doing this. Your person may have money, okay? Or have a lot of money flowing in. And they don't have the worries that you do. All right, they may not be taking notice of what you're going through. That's what I'm feeling here, okay? Because every time I pull out cards, it's like, oh, they're doing great. And you're over here like needing to balance yourself. You're guarding yourself, okay? For this week here. Let me pull out the, this is our relationship that is in balance. There's some imbalance here, okay? Because if they're fine, then you need to be fine. That's what I'm feeling Spirit and angel guys, what other messages do you have for my Capricorns? Bring me some good messages only. Straight messages, please. One more time, Capricorn. Okay. All right, I'm not going to take it negative. Oh, I'm going to show you what it says. It says, keep an open mind. Now, it's not saying that they're running over you, okay? They're taking advantage of you. Um, but I feel like there is still some, they may be flip at the mouth. That's what I'm feeling with this queen of swords. They may talk too damn much. You like, you're very unkind. You say some crappy ass shit to me. I don't like it, okay? Okay. Angel answer card is saying, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. You definitely have the two of cups here. We're talking about this partner, okay? You're being told to have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. That's what you need to do. And I know this person may come off and say something flippy, okay? But you're being reminded who you're dealing with here to keep an open mind that this person may be different than you. They may differ from you, okay? Their mind may be so business-minded that they are. it's hard for them to connect emotionally. And this is why you have to bring in these heart-to-heart -heart conversations and honestly discuss how you feel, okay? Yeah, you're being told that there is chemistry here. Of course, if this they're talking about this is a soulmate for some of you guys, okay? There's a strong magnetic attraction here, but don't let that attraction swallow you up. You have to voice your opinion. Stand your ground, okay, against this situation. That's what I'm feeling here, okay? You gotta stand your ground here, Capricorn, in the week of the 9th through the 15th, all right? And um, you use... Use your throat chakra. Speak your mind. Speak your heart. Be tr be open uh, to this partner so they know where you are emotionally, okay? I feel like this person does try to bring in stability or financial stability, okay? They try to bring in growth, um, but I feel like they're also just very... Uh, business minded as well they try to bring in security in the relationship but they may not be very how they say it verbally may be a little harsh that's what i'm feeling here good provider good provider but they are some assholes okay that's what i got here all right Thank you guys for coming back to watch your reading for April 9th through the 15th. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share to uh, share this video for me, you guys. I love you so much. Take care of yourself this week. I will be back for your mid-month readings. Bye.